Hi guys, I hope you're well. Today I thought in a sea of Christmas videos I would do a real makeup tutorial and I'm using the word tutorial very loosely mainly because I'm gonna be trying this for the first time. This is something I've never done before. Uh, it's one of those buzz makeup techniques that have come out of the theatrical and drag community and have worked their way into daily routines. Anyway, so what I'm talking about is baking and if that sounds a bit odd, it's basically where you use your skin to warm up concealer and powder under your eyes to make it look really flawless. Anyway, as I said, I've never done it before, so this could go horribly wrong, but I just thought I'd try it out for the first time on camera, if that makes sense. Anyway, right, let's get cracking. So I've put foundation on, and there will be like a small bit of foundation under my eyes, but I'm going to use a selection of concealers under my eyes now. I've got a uh, Collection 2000, um, I've got the Max Factor Under Eye Concealer and I've also got the L'Oreal Touche Magique. So it's all kind of highlighting concealery esque products that I'm gonna be using underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna be getting my gigantic mirror from my Shape Matters palette out to use it. Ooh. Put my hair behind my hair. Is it like I've got short hair if I do this? I don't know, it's there. <laughs> well, isn't this nice and close and personal? Right. So, and it's sort of the bit that you want to highlight it, that you want to pop the concealer. I have like very dark circles, so that's why this sort of uh, spoke to me. I want to come out a bit here. Cool. And then I'm going to switch to this clicky one. This is the Max Factor one. This is definitely not a look which is going to be natural you're going to be able to tell that you've got makeup on that's for sure but i just thought i'd give it a go you know right i might actually leave it with those two mm, i will put a bit of the other one in why not fuck it i don't think i've ever put this much concealer on underneath my eyes but you know, it's the first time for everything. And now I'm just gonna pat it in. I haven't put any makeup, like eye makeup on under my uh, eyes yet. So no, if you're wondering why my eyes might look a little bit weird, that's why. There's, well, actually there's a teeny tiny bit of mascara, but I didn't mean to put it there. And let's go for this side too. Cool, so I have all that sort of patted in and I'm gonna crack out the Ben Knight Fair Translucent Face Powder. Um, I mean, if you wanna use banana powder, if you have that one, or any loose powder. Because of the container this is in, I've got a plate and I'm gonna pour some out onto the plate. This is gonna be a really hard one to explain to my parents, isn't it, why I've got a white powder just chilling out. Who's this? So I've also got a damp beauty blender, but it really is like very, very lightly damp. And I'm gonna just straight up, oh my God, this is terrifying. <laughs> just dip the powder in the beauty blender and get cracking and pop it on under my eyes. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And just be mega generous. I'm absolutely going for it, aren't I? Oh. I reckon that looks like enough, doesn't it? <laughs> I reckon that could be enough. I'll have to make sure it is all nice underneath. I might go ahead and just do my nose and chin, like for the fun of it. Right, let's take this a little bit down the nose. Should we do the chin too? Fuck it, whilst we're here. And the chin. I'm optimistic, but it could go horribly wrong. And that's why I'm deciding to be muggins here and try it out for you. Is the sponge and pop it down the nose. Oh my god. A 
and then on the chin as well. Cool. Right, I'm gonna sit like this for five minutes and then I'm gonna take the powder off. So, I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> I'm gonna pop a timer on and, oh, can you see that? And away we go. So it's been five minutes and it's time to take the excess powder off. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of powder off the plate, like a teeny tiny bit on this contour brush. And I'm just gonna start sweeping the powder away. I'm using, <laughs> do you see that puff up? I'm using the viewfinder. Let me get a real mirror out whilst I'm doing this. So I can see what's what. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. and take the cocaine nose off and take away the chin as well. Hmm. I mean, I definitely think it's highlighted under my eyes, but I feel like I'm looking extra powdery. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. You can stay tuned for that as well. I might as well film the rest of my face routine. I'm gonna take a weeny bit of contour from the palette that I'm waving in front of you. Just whilst we're at it, we might as well show the full effect, eh? I'm also gonna take a little bit of blusher. This is the La Flush Blush by Too Faced in the shade Love Hangover, if I can get it open. I'm just gonna take a teeny bit of that as well. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to take the excess powder off and just put a little bit of highlighter on as well. Because why not? Let's go for the whole face thing, shall we? I mean, I haven't got mascara on the bottom lashes yet. But I think I quite like it, you know? I mean, it's very powdery at the moment. I'm feeling rather powdery, so I'm going to use some face uh, setting spray. That definitely came out wrong. Right. Let's just drown ourselves in it, why don't we? And do a bit of this. I've got my hairs wet from it. <laughs> okay, so what are my thoughts on face baking? I'm definitely not gonna be doing that every single day because I was just sat here twiddling my thumbs. Obviously you can go do something, but um, I think if you're going out, it does really sort of like smooth out underneath this. I feel like I could have left it even longer as well. But um, yeah, anyway, I thought you'd like something a little bit more hardcore makeup y because I haven't done anything like that in a while. Um, but yeah, if there's any videos you would like to see from me, please let me know down below. Leave a jolly old comment, and I shall see you guys soon.